Cliff, we saw you kind of playing a little fullback the other night. Yeah. Is that sort of part of your role now? Yeah, I got a lot of roles. Um, it's kind of one of the things that I do. Do a lot of different things. Um, and it keeps it interesting, and keeps it fun. How tough was it with that concussion? You know, I know you've been back a while, but how difficult was sitting out when you couldn't practice? Yeah, it was really tough. Um, obviously, you got to do the right thing for your head. Um, but it's behind me now, and I'm back in business playing football. And uh, excited to be back. Some of us remember you standing over there when you were a fresh drafted rookie and they brought all the rookies out. It doesn't seem that long ago, but it's getting to be long ago. Yeah. And when, what, uh, and at this point of your career, what, how you kind of, what's your overview of uh, where your career stands and what an NFL career, uh, how enjoyable it is and that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, look, I take it one day at a time. That's what you got to do in this business. Um, make sure I'm having fun, come out, do what I do every day, play football. Um, do it to the best of my ability, and uh, yeah, just take it one day at a time. Do, do you feel like you've gotten a chance to show what you can do in this league? I mean, you've had injuries and things like that. Uh, that. Yeah, I think I have a lot more to show, um, and uh, you know, I believe my opportunity will come to to show what I can do. You know, obviously, added a few guys to the tight end group. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like they're fighting for a roster spot right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Everybody's fighting for a job. Um, I particularly am fighting for a job. And uh, like I said, I take it one day at a time, come out here. I'm not thinking about the results. I'm just thinking about doing the best I can do today, make sure I'm having fun, um, and see what happens. What do you think happened last year, Steph? Your numbers that second year were pretty good, and they kind of dropped off last year. What happened? Yeah, I don't need to talk about last year. Um, it's behind me, and uh, looking forward to a better year this year. How, how many days did you get to prepare for that fullback role? One or two? Uh, you know, I appreciate the question. Um, when, I'm, when I'm studying the playbook, I know going into this thing that I could be asked to do a lot of different things. So I'm looking at everything all the time. So uh, it's, it wasn't like I had to crash study for that or cram whatever the word is but uh yeah i mean sometimes that's what it is i mean we only get two you know real days during the week during the season to prepare so you you study and you you execute on the on the practice field then you bring it to the game so there's somebody you've had to deal with injuries throughout your career <coughs> a guy like andrew buck steps down hmm. talks about his health and stuff does that send a ripple through the locker room does it make you pause and even think more about your future yeah i think it does i mean i think i don't know how much it sends a ripple effect but i think that you know the guys in in locker rooms and ours and i think across the league respect what andrew luck is doing i mean um at the end of the day when you're not enjoying this game anymore and when it's taken more from you than you'd like you got to step away and for him you know, that was that was that time. Now was that time for him. And um, I think it's such a good example um, to to leave on your terms. Is, was that more obviously everyone's talking about how shocking that was, but compare that to like what Chris Borland did. Was it was that one that, that a lot of players looked at and said, Wow, the guy's only been in the league for a year and he thinks this much of his you know, worrying about his future. Does something like that give you even more pause than a guy that was at least in the league for seven or eight years? To be honest, I'm not, I'm not familiar with the situation, no. so I can't comment on that. So you haven't had a lot of game time this summer other than the Tampa game. So sure. This game, you, I would think you would expect to play a lot. Uh -huh. And it's the fourth game. How important is this game to you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always important. Um, like I said, I'm not even focused on the game yet. I'm just honestly taking this one day at a time. Staying in the moment, um, just playing to the best of my ability. You know I, that will carry to the game, and uh, it's important to play well. And uh, I plan on doing that. Does it feel different for you this year? I mean, as you answer, as you're fighting for a rush, does this feel different with all the circumstances surrounding it? New guys, timeout with injury, than maybe in the past couple of years where you. Maybe we were relatively confident you were going to be on the team. I think the roster this year, up and down the board, 
on both sides of the ball is super competitive, and it's indicative of the great team that we have. Um, if guys don't make it here on this roster, they're going to they're gonna make it somewhere else for sure. So that's the way I feel about this roster. I think it's very competitive. I think it's very talented. I think it's very good. And we can't keep everybody. Um, so, you know, everybody's fighting. Everybody's fighting. What's your comment on uh, what uh, traits that Mayfield has that are of uh, value to this team? All of them. Uh, he, he's, he's great. Uh, he's a great leader, um, not only on the field, but in the locker room. Um, he's got tremendous poise and confidence. And, you know, I played quarterback in high school, and I know you need that. The moment you lose that, the moment your play starts to go down, downhill, especially at that position. And uh, he steps into his throws, throws them on time, and uh, he's playing confidently, and I think he always will. How would you rate his accuracy, uh, both his, his fastball, let's say, in uh, terms of how hard his, uh, his fastball is to catch and his overall accuracy? I think he's tremendously accurate. Um, I mean, sometimes I'm turning around and the ball is like right on my head, and it's hard to do. You know what I mean? So I think it's pretty good. When you first came out to this thing, you were kind of like a split to see on the field of tight end. Yeah. I can't think of anything more different than the blocking back. <laughs> Did you ever anticipate you'd be filling that role? I can't say I anticipated it, but sure, my role is definitely involved. And um, I'm doing, you know, what they asked me to do to help this team. And, um, you know, I'm happy to do that. So. Does, does your mentality have to be any different when you go out there to play in that role? To hit somebody in the face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean,. It's something I've been doing my whole career, even when I was playing wide out in college at Princeton. But uh, it's football, man. It just kind of comes with it. When, when they um, cut Orson Charles, did it hit you like they're going to want somebody else to do those type of things? Um, yeah, I was very surprised when they cut Orson. Orson's a good friend of mine. I wish him all the best. Um, yeah, and then. You know, I was already taking reps at fullback. I don't know if you guys were even really watching that early on in camp, but I was taking I was taking reps at that position, and so I knew I would be taking more. Yeah. Princeton had the season it did. Uh, does uh, watching uh, that from your perspective as as an alum uh, kind of remind you of uh, how much fun uh, it uh, it can be to uh, be part of a big winner? Absolutely. You know, I watched Princeton very closely last year. It was probably the best season in memory for the Tigers and um, gosh, brought me brought me back good memories and it was really fun to watch them. And like you said, yeah, it's uh, it's an exciting game. In terms of, uh, you know, the um, aura around the Browns now, you know, it's, it's there. Uh, what's that been like for you to be part of a team that's supposed to be on the rise? Yeah, I'd love to be able to blow teams out by 50 points in the NFL. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> um, that's what, you know, my guys did in college last year. Um, but it's fun to win, man. I mean, look, I've been on both sides of it since I've been here, and gosh, it's so much better to win. <laughs> so you, you mentioned that having played quarterback before. One trait yeah. that is always strikes me with Mayfield is his pocket presence, his ability to just maybe take one or two steps to avoid the danger. When you guys watch the film of him, does that stand out to you? And because everyone says it's kind of an innate ability, you either kind of have it, you can learn it a little bit. But either have it or you don't. Yeah, I think I think it is. I mean, some guys at that position, they step back there, they turn around and they they just see jerseys, you know what I mean? And other guys, they turn around and they see exactly what they need to see. And um, it's hard to find those guys, right? That's what the GMs get paid to do. But uh, we got one and uh, he shows that every day. Yeah. Take a couple more. How has your experience uh, when you've been on the field across the, uh, the, th the three years, helped you uh, really have a better grasp of uh, what's going on uh, at the NFL game speed? Yeah, I think I know what to expect. Um, you know, in terms of how to prepare, I think the biggest difference probably in what I share with the rookies is like preseason kind of gives you a false sense of security because a lot of times, you know, the starters aren't playing. And so week one is different. You know, and so I think as a vet, you learn how you need to prepare going into the early games of the season as, a, as opposed to maybe being shocked a little bit as a rookie. 
Um, and so, you know, knowing what I need to look at on film, knowing what I need to uh, carry in with my preparation going into the games, um, I think that's the advantage of having some years under your belt. Is that the culture of this team has changed so much since you came in? Start from the top, you were brought in by the Harvard guys. Yeah. And now it's totally different. Mm -hmm. Can you, uh, and, and you survived last year without having much of a training camp. Uh -huh. um, do you consider yourself a survivor at this point? Look, the one thing I know is the guys upstairs aren't doing anybody any favors. They're keeping the best guys that give them the best chance to win. And so if that's going to be me, uh, I'd love to be here. And um, that's all I know for sure. So.